honor to talk to you today, Master. Thank you so much for loving me and trusting me. This extreme cosmic region, it is the storehouse for all the tools, all the power in case needed. If we create bad energy, then that is kind of a helpful channel for hellish person or evil spirit to manifest themselves. If we create merciful, compassionate energy, then that is the kind of invitation for good being to come into our world. She will always be the same, loving, uh, sacrificing, and supporting, and caring all the time. It's just that we are the one who abuse her loving kindness. Because the world is in such a cow and the universe needs to be repaired now and then. Since the new period began, the universe has not needed repairing. It now needs repairing. They have the power to turn into vegan right now already. So much power in the air, so much blessing in the air. Like just don't look into it, don't listen to it, and don't practice it. But I think, I hope soon, it will ingrain into people's hearts, and then the world will become better. Hi, Master. Yes? Uh, Master, how come sometimes we cannot get on well with certain people? For example, how come we can work well with one person but, but not with another? Okay. This is because of uh, several reasons. Uh, first one, maybe the past karma, hard, bad karma with that person. Uh, second, uh, that person maybe carries too much negative power, and hence, also uh, unlucky attributes with him or herself. But if you are with that person, your luck will be taken away to some extent. I also work with uh, many uh, like that. Then if you are with that person, you will suddenly become very unlucky, you know, one string of bad luck after another. And then you feel agitated all the time, and you feel angry sometimes with no reason or for small reason. Uh, in the presence of that person. Wow. And whatever you tell him or her, she seems difficult to understand you. Or she understands but don't want to understand. And know it but don't want to do it or don't want to cooperate. And just make things difficult. Because these people are more negative than positive. There are two kind of people in this world. One belongs to the positive side and one belongs to the negative side. The negative side people... Uh, sometimes they might be lucky in the world, but they they will take luck from you also, whoever uh -huh. nearby. And their negative energy will cause you to be irritated, sometimes even sick, ill, gravely ill or mildly ill. It depends on how bad, how much negative power he or she carries and how much bad luck he or she will cause. That's why sometimes people do business with one person and become bankrupt and do business with another person and become prosperous. Uh, in the ancient time, people choose wife and husband very carefully because of that. Yes. They go to the extreme uh, famous or good astrologer to match them to see if they are good for each other, you know, everything like that. But it's difficult to find out until you <laughs> live with each other or work with each other. Difficult to then take a long, long time to, to realize that. Because uh, you, you can't just think negative of anybody you, you, you know or see. You just feel like, oh, today I don't feel good. That's why I'm angry. I'm sorry. And then you keep apologizing to even to that person all the time because you're angry with him or her. Yes. But it's not always your fault. The person looks like you're a victim, but in the real sense, you are the victim. You're victimized by their negative energy. But then they look like you are the aggressor, and you have to apologize all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, I know all these things. 
it's not very good experience for me either. Yes. Um, Master, how much, how much does the karma of someone near us affect us? It depends on uh, how strong you are. Huh? But if, if it's near, then it's affect anyway. More or less, it will affect you, okay? okay. And uh, it depends on your willingness also. For example, the Master is willing to take on the karma of other people. Then it just come in. And if, if you are a nice and good person and you sympathize with other people, then whoever nearby will affect you. And even you're not sympathized, it affects you also differently, yeah? More or yes, less. Master. Yes, Master. Whoever near us affects us. Even birds, dogs, cats, neighbors, friends, acquaintances, relatives, family members, they all affect each other. Yes, Master. Master, uh, how much are we affected when we think about someone, whether they are uh, near or far? or if they have passed away? Just as if that person is next to you. Because wow. karma doesn't have a distance. A karma doesn't know distance. Yeah, that's why when you initiated your five generations, become also uh, liberated. Yes. yes, we're forever grateful for that. At least five generations, it could be more, nine, even ten. Um, karma doesn't know distance. Master, how do we avoid bad karmic influences? I just try to mind your own business and uh, recite, yes. you know, use the protection that uh, I teach you at the time of initiation. Focus on positive thinking and uh, remember God, okay? Yes. Praying. Yes. Meditating. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Master, uh, did your marriage to a, a German doctor in the past bring blessings to the country of Germany? You think it does? Well, we see that um, Germany is prosperous and strong, whereas the, the other European countries' economies are in recession. Germany has the lowest uh, unemployment rate in Europe, and uh, it's the fourth largest economy in the whole world, so it's very prosperous. Yeah, and it's powerful, eh? Yeah, yeah. it is. It does have some effect, yes. Wow. But don't tell anybody that all the country men who want to come marry me, huh? <laughs> I don't have time. Yeah, it's not just marrying only, but it's the way that country people treat me, treat the master. Wow, I see. So um, I can see uh, maybe observably Taiwan is good, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Vietnam has uh, become good. Yes, yes. England, yeah, UK, also strong, powerful. Uh, America, yeah, strong yes. and powerful. Of course, it has some karmic payback, but, uh, you know, overall, it's like that. I understand. Yeah. Even Costa Rica, not a very rich country, but it's very peaceful and, and uh, stable. Yeah, I've been there for a long time. Eh? I have a house there. I have a piece of land there. <laughs> Still have and it become a center of meditation. For example, huh? yeah. yeah. Master, how come before, yeah. before you never publicly stated who you are beyond being a spiritual master, but now you are allowing the public to know about your identity and your experiences. Um, aren't you afraid of people knowing who you are? Uh, the one already know, then already know, yeah? <laughs> And uh, like you guys know already, so I, I, I think I'm also having an uh, obligation to share with you my uh, experience, yeah? My finding, yeah? Okay? So that you know, or not? <laughs> yes, thank you very much for that, Master. Yeah. I also, I realized that somehow that if you tell the truth, people, you know, the people who believe you, of course, they believe already anyway. And other people, they don't believe you anyway when you tell the truth, so why worry? Yeah? Yes, <laughs> uh, one time I went to a country, go through the custom. The immigration officer asked me, what for you are in my country? Uh, is it for business? I said, no. Is it for pleasure? I said, oh, more or less. I said, what kind of pleasure? <laughs> he asked, what kind of pleasure? I said, oh, I come to bless your country. <laughs> and he laughed it off very loud. <laughs> And he said, yeah, yeah, thank you. You know, like, sarcastically. So I also laugh and I say, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny, Master. 
Yeah, when you tell the truth, people don't believe anyway, so I might as well tell it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah? True. But don't worry, I will not tell my plumber that I am so and so, you know? Yeah. When it comes to fix the pipe in my kitchen, he will see me as just a, a humble old woman wowing at all his miracles of <laughs> fixing my stuff <laughs> and being generous to him, making cakes for him or giving him gifts or a generous tips. That's all he know. Okay? Yes, Master. Yeah, but the people who are uh, next to me don't ever know anything. I see. The people know me, uh, people see me on the street or in restaurant or taxi driver, plumber, electrician, they know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I will not tell my plumber or my electrician, okay? <laughs> okay, Master. <laughs> I keep myself safe. Very safe. <laughs> yeah. And uh, last time we broke, the car broke on the highway. The police came and all that. It is all officer. Thank you so much for coming. They don't ask too much. <laughs> they just help me out quick to fix the car, to bring the car to the garage. Master, we are so glad that you are taking care um, so that you can be safe first and continue your mission as peacefully as possible. Thank you, Master. So not everybody really know who I am. Don't worry, okay? Yeah. <laughs> if they know, then good for them. Huh? But I don't say it deliberately so that people know who I am. It's just nowadays, you can't keep secret. I mean, I do as much as I can with my plumber, for example. But uh, nowadays, even as I am speaking to you right now, I'm not sure how many people are listening. You know? Nowadays, hacking and fighting is the normal things in the world. Now you remind me, I think somebody is listening to us. Mm. <laughs> Hello oh. there, whoever <laughs> you are. <laughs> Be blessed, be loved, <laughs> and enjoy our conversation. <laughs> Your conversation with us are always enjoyable. Thank you, Master. <laughs> yeah, anything else? Yes, Master. Master, whenever you re reveal a new secret of the universe, does that help our world in a particular way? Uh, maybe it makes people happy. You know, like you, like yes. you guys. Happy. Yes, Master. Yeah. And when you're happy, you create a good uh, energy wave pattern and you spread out in the world. And People know, then they're more happy too. Huh? The other disciples, other followers, believers, if they know it, they're happy. And when you are happy, of course, you attract uh, uh, luck and happiness uh, energy into the world. And that brings more peace, more uh, prosperity, and everything is more beneficial and more uh, positive into the world, of course. Huh? Yes, Master. Master, do you have to negotiate with heaven so that you can share the divine information? Yes, yes, I do. Ah. Uh, also, you know, as a courtesy, yeah? You have to say, okay, I'm going to let my disciples know this and that. And would that be too much problem or not? We have to consider whether it's harmful or good. In this kind of thing, it's not just like negotiation. It's a kind of a friendly discussion, huh? Eh? Yes. And a consideration. It's like a meeting with friends to discuss what we can do and what we cannot. What is good and what is not beneficial. That's all. Okay? Yes, yes master. master. Understand. And of course, if I reveal something, of course, I will have to pay for it. That's that. <laughs> oh. That's normal from beginning already. That is just like uh, taking for granted. It's, it's like that. Yes, Master. Master, um, last conference, Master mentioned that initiations can cost Master a lot physically, mentally, and spiritually. And after the conference in April, we heard that there were to be no more initiations for a while. So we're wondering, could something serious have happened to Master that you needed to hold initiations? And is Master okay? Yeah, I almost died the other day, huh? <laughs> and other things happen. Uh, it's not only that, but uh, I was thinking the people who are initiated, the, the old initiated, really should really consider their status, 
their luck and to be serious uh, practitioners, more wholesome, more saintly, more selfless. Not just go out and distribute charity to the disaster people the way I told them to or instructed them to, but have to be inside and really compassionate and holy and noble. Not just always asking for blessing from heaven or from the master and initiate and then please uh, heal me this, uh, please uh, uh, marry my daughter, please uh, <laughs> find my ugly son uh, a wife, nothing like that. Or using my photo for healing people and all that kind of thing. I was really uh, thinking this group of people has to be more noble, has to think of a higher purpose. Like, want to know God, want to know yourself, want to become a saint, to benefit others. Not just thinking of benefit yourself, especially material things. Or like wanting to have my socks or my hat for blessing power or whatever it is. I really feel very uh, discouraged by that. So I was needing a little bit of time to digest all that too. And I just want them to reconsider also during that time that uh, maybe they should better be more serious, okay? More wholesome. Yes, yeah. yes Master. The new one and the old one alike. But I allow initiation again already. Oh, thank you, thank you Master. Uh, <laughs> and after that, my car busted on the highway. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yes, tell me. Master, when we heard that announcement, we were worried and we prayed that you are well and safe physically. And now we're very happy and surprised and overjoyed to hear from you again. So thank you, Master. You're welcome. Ah, you deserve it. You're a good kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier to talk to you if you want something. It's easier because it's uh, more convenient to talk to you than to tell other center, talk to them, it's more difficult. They have to organize, they have to gather people. It's not all that convenient. And by the time they gather people, maybe I'm not in that position to talk to them already. See what I mean? Yes, Master. Thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. You deserve it. Good kid. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Master, is the time right yet for you to reveal when we'll have world vegan, world peace? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When it's there, then you know, okay? Yes, Easy. Master. We'll yeah. wait. <laughs> My God, there could be peace right now and it could be uh, vegan right now already. Really, Master? I got so much power for them, but just don't use it. Oh. They, as in the people of this world? Yes. Because of uh, immediate profit, because of uh, habit, because of uh, uh, misleading direction, and all these some people just uh, affecting each other. Oh. Otherwise, they could begin a vegan diet already uh, some months ago, and they continue for hundreds of years, and continue after that, if... If they continue, I would even uh, feed them more power to do so. Yeah. Because people have this free will and the mind is very hard. The ego and the mind is very hard. And the people, they think that they have to earn a living and have to earn profit and all that. So uh, they, they uh, turn their blind eyes to everything that they know is good. Yes, Master. So, Master, um, you described in the previous conference about Maya's obstructions to your mission. And so, are there any rules of engagement in the spiritual realm that the good and evil forces must abide by? And if so, what are some of those rules or laws? Oh, the rules apply to individuals, yes, but don't apply to the masters too much. Oh. For example, Jesus. He was virtuous and holy and pure and saintly and good, but he was still nailed and killed because of disciples, because of the bad karma of the people in his lifetime. So because the master take on the mission of saving the world, saving the people and the world also, by the way, uh, the master has to be responsible 
for the world's ills and good. That's why the karmic law can also apply to the master even though he doesn't do what is bad. Yeah, he doesn't do anything bad. It still applies to him because he takes on the bad karma of his people. Just like any leader takes a responsibility for his uh, underling, or the parents are also responsible for the children, even adopted children. Okay? Understand. Thank you, Master. Yeah. Master, you've told us before how there are angels and then there are gods and goddesses who are even more powerful than the angels. So do the hell beings also have different degrees of power? Oh, they do. They do. They do because uh, the karmic uh, pattern of the world affects the master and they are also allowed to attack sometimes the master physical, emotional or mental. Or they attack the assistant you know, the one nearby, and then that person will disturb the master. If they cannot attack the master, they make trouble for the one nearby. So it's an indirect effect. Yeah? Yes, master. What are some of the worst things that the most powerful hell beings could do in this physical realm to humans and to master? Uh, what's the worst thing they can do? <laughs> I can't remember too many. It's just constant and we got used to it. Try to change if I can or just endure it until it passes. I don't know what is the worst. Actually, I told you already, it could be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, yeah? Okay? Yes, Master. Once it's gone, I I don't try to remember much anymore, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. (laughs) Um, Master, the hellish beings, are they able to do anything to humans? Of course they do. They're trying all the time. Wow. Whenever they can get out of hell or they're sent up, or they always influence other people to, to do bad things or to even like addicted people, the alcohol, once you try alcohol and then the other uh, invisible or hell being will come near you and try to enjoy through you. And then you drink more and more, and then you get more addicted. Same with drugs or cigarettes or other things uh, which are not good for you. Yes, Master. Prohibition on drugs and intoxicants. The Baha'i faith, as to opium, it is foul and accursed. God protect us from the punishment he inflicteth on the user. According to the explicit text of the most holy book, it is forbidden and its use is utterly condemned. The kitab e akdath I wish to say that, in the sight of God, the smoking of tobacco is a thing which is blamed and condemned, very and clean, and of which the result is by degrees injurious. Baha'i World Faith by Abdul Baha this opium, this foul fruit of the infernal tree, and this wicked hashish extinguish the mind, freeze the spirit, petrify the soul, waste the body, and leave man frustrated and lost. The Kitab e Akdas. Buddhism. Six, young householder, are the perils of gambling. If the man wins, he is hated. If he loses, he mourns his lost wealth. Waste of wealth, his word has no weight in an assembly, court of law. He is despised by his friends and companions. He is not sought in marriage. Sigalavada Sutra. Waha Buddhism. Stay away from places that sell wine. Abstain from intoxicants, gambling, and drugs. Wise men shun all of them, for all they bring is disgrace and shame. Wisdom of the madman. Islam. O ye who believe, strong drink and games of chance and idols and divining arrows are only an infamy of Satan's handiwork. Leave it aside in order that ye may succeed. Quran. Sikhism. Whoever uses bong, an intoxicant made from Indian hemp, fish, and wine, whatever pilgrimages, fasting, and daily rites they may perform, they all go to hell. Sri Guru Granth Sahib It makes your mind blurred, it shrinks your brain, it uh, clogs your nerves, it makes you feel hallucinated, it makes you go crazy when you don't have it, and become addicted to it. It breaks your family, love, relationship. It makes you become a criminal sometimes. We have enough confusion with work, with war, with disaster, with relationship already. Do not create more confusion for yourselves and damage 
your only vehicle to reach God, this is the body, the temple. Keep it well in order, healthy, because you must use it, okay? <laughs> Drug is no, 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 no. Disagreement between family members, between friends, and cause misunderstanding, trouble, you know, causing havoc and disaster. But it is also because of the bad karma of that individual, as well as the collective bad karma of the world, that give them that power to do it, give them the ability to do this, give them the allowance to do it. But they also sometimes being punished. It depends on. Uh, whether they do it correctly or overdoing it or not. And the angels are also trying to prevent it. So there were two sides always like uh, fighting with each other. One tried to influence people bad and one tried to influence people good. So it is up to the individual or group to listen to their own conscience and to do always the right thing. But sometimes, as I told you, If they happen to be near the hellish uh, portal or road or near a big group of uh, hellish quality people, then they're also overwhelmed. And slowly and slowly and gradually going down with them. Master, what are ways humans can protect ourselves? Yeah, well, mostly people are vulnerable. But the people who have believed even not initiated, but believe and pray often and believe in God power and angel power and try to do good things or at least not do any any bad things, they are less vulnerable. They are more protected. Yes, Master. Yeah. Thank you for always protecting us and we pray that you're always protected, Master. You are special. (laughs) You're free so at the time of initiation, you're free. It's just some little give and take karma you have to undergo. Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. Uh, Master, how long can the king of Maya or regular hellish beings manifest into a physical form like human or animal on Earth? Is it like uh, several hours or days or uh, it could be a week? Differently, differently. Some more powerful, they could stay for weeks. Uh, Some less powerful, they stay for, you know, some minutes or even seconds or days, hours, depends, yeah? But uh, at the Hungarian retreat, I think I'm more or less tell you, no? Yes, Master. About how long uh, uh, each uh, uh, level of being can manifest into this world physically. I remember I have told that. So you listen to that again, okay? Yes, Master. Understood. You're welcome. Uh, Master? Yes. Can heavenly or hellish beings manifest into a physical form as uh, often or frequently as they like? Or is there a limit? Um, For example, maybe just... Uh, once a year, and um, and do they have to wait a certain time between their manifestations? It depends on how powerful they are, okay? And also it depends on the karma of the world or the marriage of the people of the world, whether or not uh, they are allowed to manifest because of that. Because if we create bad energy, then that is kind of a helpful channel for hellish person or evil spirit to manifest themselves. If we create a merciful, compassionate uh, energy, then that is the kind of invitation for good beings to come into our world, even to be born into our world as human beings to help us. But this world also is a mixed kind of salad, you know, so we always have some bad uh, spirit coming up and always some master or saintly people manifested or born into this world to help to counterbalance it. Yes, Master. Um, Master, if a hellish being uh, possesses a human, afterwards do they get exhausted and temporarily lose their power? Who? Oh, the hellish being lose power or a human? A hellish being, like how when a ghost gets depleted of energy when they come back out from possessing a human body? Yeah, it's, it's, it could be like that. But again, then it, it, it depends on that person's karmic connection with hell, or uh, depends on the 
on the karmic pattern of that person, okay, and also depend on the power of that spirit, of that holy spirit. I see. And um, if it did affect the, the hellish being, what, what are some of the things that they could not do afterwards, after possessing someone as a result? I think they probably go to sleep, huh? like you and I when we are exhausted, no? <laughs> take a rest, huh? They take a rest, no? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it the same case when a hellish being manifests in a physical form on this earth? Afterwards, do they lose energy? Yeah, yeah. They have to re recharge again. I see. I see. And after they manifest on this earth, do they still have enough power to immediately possess a human? Or would they be too weak for that? No, it depends on how much power they need or they have used. Depends on how exhausted they are, no? Understand. Understand. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. Why occupy so much with the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We talk about heaven and now you jump down to hell. Okay. What else? Um, Master? Are there any other rules that heaven or hellish beings must um, follow when they manifest themselves on earth? It's just the same like I, has, I told you, no? It depends on the karmic pattern of the people, good or bad. But the good heavenly beings, they are more free. They're more free to manifest in this world. It's just that what's the use of doing it when we don't listen? If they don't manifest in this world, it's because we don't listen, or we don't pray hard enough for their help, or we don't deserve it, yeah? I understand, Master. But the hell is, people, they, they can come if we are bad. Because we, if we are bad, we create bad energy. And bad energy is same the wavelength pattern as the hell is pattern. Light attract like. So if we want to attract more heavenly beings, then we have to be more heavenly-like. That's logic. Okay, what else, love? Master, is there an entire limit to how many heavenly or hellish beings can come to this physical realm we live in? No, no, no. There's no limit for any of them. It just depends on us, okay? Depends on us how much we attract, the higher or the lower. Yes, Master. Um, Master? then without a limit, could it ever happen that a, a huge number of hellish beings manifest and overtake this world? Yes, if we are so limitlessly bad. Oh, wow. But luckily we are also some good, some bad. So there's not limitless that they can come up because there are good people also on this planet. Okay? I told you it's a mixed salad. <laughs> <laughs> I hope one day we all become so good that only good beings manifest here and not the hellish beings. Yes, Master. <laughs> Master, you're the one that's making it come true. Thank you so much. I am trying my best. It's uh, too slow for my liking, but uh, we have to be patient. Hmm? Because this world has been like that for aeons already, for billions of years, millions of years already. I, I wish for a quick fix, but it's not as quick as I want. We're trying. Okay? Even, for example, even if I could bring the whole storage of supply of peace energy into this world, people will not be able to absorb it and digest it and make it into their own nature. It has to be a gradual. Thank you, Master. You're welcome, love. Master, for heavenly or hellish beings that are manifested for a few days, do they get affected just like regular humans? For example, do they get bruised or bleed if they're cut? Yes, they do. Oh. Oh. But uh, it's uh, not real, okay? It just appears so. If they are not really born and, and, and take up a body permanently here, then their bleeding are not real. I see. It apparently look like. But if they are born into this world and taking up a physical body, then their pain will be real and the bleeding will be real. Oh, wow. I see. And if an accident happens to them, will their body not show any injury and instead just disappear into thin air? 
Well, it depends on if they're still in the body or not in the body. They can disappear also. And the body still get bruised and bleed, but they are not affected. Or the body is just gone. Depends, yeah? Depends. Master, you have um, taught us how to recognize true masters and false ones when they appear during our meditation. Are there such ways for humans to recognize heaven or hell being when they manifest on earth? Uh, in most cases, no, because they don't have the way to understand it. They don't have the uh, psychic uh, ability to know it, and they don't have the heavenly eyes to look for it. And if they're too busy, they also, also don't see very well. They don't notice because when the heavenly being comes here, they mostly conceal their light and their ability, so we cannot recognize very well. Okay, but if you look closely, if you uh, practice to some degree, you know it. If you really pay attention, you know it. If you don't pay attention, they just pass by. You don't see. Uh, for example, you know there are some very interesting and exciting television show on television, but you're not looking at the television. You don't even know what it is. You you sit next to it, or maybe you look at it, but you're thinking of something else. So you don't even know what they're doing on TV. Yes, right. True. That's true. Yes, master. Right in front of you. Yeah. Or you, sometimes you read a book, but you're too sad or too preoccupied with some problem, and you you keep <laughs> turning the pages, but you don't even know what is written yes. in there. Yes, master. That's true. Yeah, like that. And uh, but if we pay attention, what should we look for, Master? What for are you looking? <laughs> <laughs> you just uh, protect yourself, and if it's good for you, then you will feel it. If it's bad, then you are protected. I see. Understand. And you can't just go out on the road and begin <laughs> trying to look for hell or heaven. <laughs> You better watch where you're walking and what your steering wheel to drive well. That's right, Master. Yes, master. And don't bump into other people. Yes, hmm? good advice. <laughs> That's true. And at home, you see your colleagues and your co-worker better don't bump into them. But looking <laughs> for hell and heaven. <laughs> don't step on people while you're looking for evil or good being. Okay. Yes, Master. Yeah. And. Um, Master, regarding the guardians of those higher regions you spoke of earlier, are they members of the 50 councils from the ninth level, or are they also beings from the zillions of zillions level? They belong to higher stuff. Wow. Because uh, if it's the ninth council, then uh, they don't work up there. Okay? Wow. It's special. Like special force. They, they have to be more powerful. Okay? In a different unit, different kind of uh, uh, position. For example, even if the prime minister or the president of the country, when they're speeding on the highway or on the road, the, the policeman has more power than the president at that time. The policeman can stop him and give him ticket <laughs> or something like that, yeah? Yes, Master, okay. I understand. Yeah. And do those guardians also keep advancing and progressing? Yes, if they're doing their job well, then maybe they go to a higher level to do all the job. Oh, I am more powerful. Cool. They're guarding more powerful uh, supply supermarket, for yes. example. <laughs> Spiritual supermarket. I understand. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Um, Master, you once yeah. shared that Mother Earth is a highest fourth level being who evolves with the merit that she earns by being loving and giving and by protecting all the creatures on this planet. Could we know at what spiritual level Mother Earth is right now? She's fourth or just higher four. Oh. And the sun is a fifth level being that you could see all the time and you could even feel. <laughs> the moon also, uh, the moon is a third level. It's kind of collective being up there, make up the moon. They all kind of high, high third level. But the sun is the fifth level. It's a beneficial being. Uh, listen, even if the moon is just a third level or the earth is four level, but we have to be really grateful to them. Uh, scientifically speaking, if the moon were to be out of uh, orbit, then we cannot exist here on our planet even. Yes, uh, so, so our Earth cannot exist, or cannot have light. You see, so actually the moon also a world saver, and the sun 
if the sun is not there, I don't think we can exist either. So they, these are also world saver. We also have to also thank them all. I thank them all the time. Whenever I remember. When I see the moon, I always say hello and thank you and I love you. Thank you so much for helping us, for saving this planet. All this time, yeah? Physically, physically. Yeah. The, the alignment between the sun, moon and our planet and a neighboring planet, they are wonderfully arranged. Wonderful arrangement. Otherwise, life cannot exist on Earth here. Yeah? Yes, Master. Um, is the fifth level the highest that Mother Earth can advance to, or she can go beyond? No, fifth level is where all physical being here can advance to, except when uh, came from a higher level, then go back to higher level. Oh. But the mother Earth will go to the fifth maximum. Fifth level is wonderful already. My God, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. As Mother Earth's spiritual level advances, how does it affect the planet Earth's inhabitants? We affect her, not she affect us. <laughs> she will always be the same, loving, uh, sacrificing, supporting, and caring all the time. Fourth or fifth level, same. It's just that we are the ones who abuse her loving kindness to the uh, extent of, uh, you know, like uh, damaging ourselves physically and spiritually. We are the ones who has to change. She won't change anything. I see. Thank you, Master. You're welcome, my love. Hi, Master. Master, would yeah. you... Would you be able to tell us how much you have finished repairing the universe in terms of a percentage and how much longer it may take? Oh, let me see. Forty-seven percent only, yet. And I don't know how much longer it takes because I'm also having to, to do with the war and the karma and the war and the disaster and the peace and all kind of things. Understand, Master. Hmm. You see, like, uh, even if you are a high officer in the court and your duty is to your nation, but your immediate family is always catch your attention. And they affect you somehow. Like your kids are uh, ill and your wife uh, divorcing you, things like that. And you also somehow uh, very difficult to take care of your state business. You become disturbed, yeah? And less concentrated. Yes, Master. Okay, yes. Master, what happens when the repair of the universe is complete? Does it possibly mean that the entire universe will be in the golden age or be an all-vegan universe? It's not that. <laughs> oh. The universe stability is not the human doing, okay? For example, the Mother Earth can still exist and still advance to higher level of consciousness but human may not, because human also has to change. Of course, when you are nearer to more benevolent being of a spiritual higher order, then you also be uh, more blessed. But it is you who has to use this blessing for a better purpose. Hmm? The good English teacher can teach you maybe faster or more intelligently, but it's you who has to make use of that, to practice it in order to speak English well. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Has Master repaired the universe before in the past? Some period of time, but that was a long, long, long time before the new period began. Oh. And since the new period had begun, the universe has not need repairing. Oh. It now needs repairing. Mm -hmm. That's all, okay? Yes, Master. Thank you. You're welcome. Master, in our previous conference, you had used the term zero pain food. Is this uh, the same as karma-less food, or is it a different kind of food? Oh, karma-less. Karma-less karma -less food. Yes. It's not because of bad karma, but because you consider about the pain of the plants and the food that you eat, so you try to minimize it. Huh? Yes, Master. Yeah. Whether or not you will get bad karma or not get bad karma, the main point is that you don't want to eat the food that causes pain. Okay? Yes, Master. The least pain possible. Because you love. Because of your love. Because of your compassion. 
the higher you go, the less you want to cause any discomfort to anyone, uh, be it the moving beings or non-moving beings. That's the main point. Hmm? Not about karma even. But even then, karma is all karma uh, for you. Must always be thankful for all the creation of this uh, food that you eat, and thank all the plants and the fairies and the angels who take care of them to make them grow and give you taste and give you energy, give you enjoyment. Always thank heavens and earth and all in between and humans and fairy in heaven before you partake of the food. Yes, we will always remember that. Yes. Really thank you. Yes? Yes, Master. Uh, do meat, alcohol, cigarettes, drugs also damage our astral and other finer bodies? Uh, will we suffer from those harmful substances even after our physical body dies? Yes, um, the astral body at least suffer. It depends on what substance. So, uh, for example, after you die, if you consume too much uh, meat, which cause suffering to all the beings, uh, especially if you kill them yourself, then your astral body will have to suffer uh, similar suffering in the astral world, in the place we call hell. Hmm? That's what hell means. You have to experience the feeling of other people so that when you reborn again as a human or a, a other being, you will understand that there is suffering when you do certain such things to other beings because you have experienced it yourself. Then you become more loving more considerate, more compassionate, and more careful about your action, your speech, and your thinking. Understand, Master. Mm. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Vegetarianism in Religion The Baha'i Faith Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings on some aspects of health and healing. Buddhism, all meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra. Also, after the birth of the baby, care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies, and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat. Because at the difficult time of birth, there are innumerable evil demons, monsters, and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves, which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. Siti Garba Sutra. Be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying or creating evil karma by worshiping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious, thus delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. Ksiti Garba Sutra Cow die. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible. Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. If ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. 
Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adi Lila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith. Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith. Jainism. A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been especially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Kritanga. Judaism. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow, Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature, and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. Master, um, this was our last question, Master. Would it be possible for you to elaborate now about how your meditation benefits the universe? You, you mentioned earlier you need to check your spiritual diary. Oh, oh, I see. No, I also kind of told you a little bit. Like, for example, if the world benefits 100% or 90%, then the universe will benefit less. Sometimes uh, 8%, sometimes less. Sometimes 5%, sometimes more. Sometimes 20%, it depends on what, yeah? Um, that is uh, uh, the detail answer. I guess it's similar like that. You don't have to really... No. Like, of course, I can tell you, okay, how much peace you benefit uh, the world and then how much peace uh, benefit the universe. But <laughs> it's a take it's a tedious, a long time. It's, it's no need. Just know that uh, the world benefit more immediate because I'm here and more percentage, uh, much more than the universe. But both benefit. But there's something only benefit me, huh? Sorry. <laughs> For example, if... <laughs> If I sit in a youth uh, quail area, then I already get younger, but not the whole world and not the universe, huh? <laughs> no hope for that. <laughs> Besides, I don't have enough time to sit in this youth quail area. I'm too busy with uh, your world stuff, your universe. <laughs> Thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, Master, before we conclude, would you like to share any further message for the world? Yes, the same as usual. Whatever you know is good, do it. Whatever you know is bad, stop it. Pray to God, remember God. Protect yourself from harm and protect others from harm by being good, being gentle, being compassionate. Always the same. Every Bible tell you that. No need me to even tell you. It's just a practice. It's not what I tell even. Please, I've been speaking to <laughs> deaf ears all these years. Uh, I'm only talking to you guys because you know what I tell is the truth. And yeah. uh, you benefit from it. So as a teacher, I tell you things, you know. I mean, you and your brothers and sisters in the world, so that they are happy. 
that they be reminded to be good, to be virtuous, to be a good practitioner, to remember God, and to spread heavenly love into this world. Thank you, Master. And for the human outside, uh, I can talk forever. It's up to them, huh? Yes. Yes, Master. Yes, but they have the power to turn into vegan right now already. So much power in the air, so much blessing in the air. It's just so... Uh, don't look into it, don't listen to it, and don't practice it. But I think, I hope, soon, uh, it will ingrain, you know, into uh, people's hearts, and then the world will become better. Well, it's getting better already. You know, I see some improvements. Like, even UK, they cut down the budget for, for defense, no? for the arm. And uh, America is bringing soldiers home, yeah, other country also, for example. And uh, enemies or opposition are sitting with each other to discuss, yeah? Yes, Mr. Uh, North Korea is not threatening. And Iran has a new, uh, very uh, open, neutral leader, <laughs> president, congratulations, for example. No? Yes, Master. All your reminders are always very precious to us, Master. Yes, we have to. We have to be good. Be kind, be loving. That's it. There's nothing more to learn. <laughs> nothing more that we don't know already. We just have to practice it and have to remember there's God, there's heaven. And there's saintly quality to aspire to. All right, my love. It's nothing more than uh, probably talk to you another time. Yeah, Master, um, many countries recently celebrated Mother's Day and, and today is Father's Day here in the U.S. So oh. we would like to read you a poem that we wrote for you. It's called Most Beloved Precious Mother. <laughs> Thank you, love. How boundless is our mother's love, unconditional and pure from heaven above. Your eyes sparkle beauty and light. Your smile radiates sunshine, warm and bright. Your heart is an open cosmos of kindness. Your arms embrace us in eternal bliss. How can we ever express our appreciation for the most beloved, precious in all of creation? Thank you for being there for us. Thank you for giving us your love and trust. Thank you for being our best friend. Thank you for your promise to be with us till the end. Thank you for your gentleness and grace. Thank you for walking with us at our pace. Thank you for picking us up when we fall. Thank you for showering us with your love and all. Thank you for the warm hug that we always miss. Thank you for blowing us that extra kiss. Thank you for opening the doors. We thank you and so much more. Mother, thank you for being in our lives so tenderly. And most beautiful you will always be. And most beautiful you will always be. We love, we love you, you, Master. Wow. 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 Wow, it's beautiful. Every mother will be jealous and wish that you tell that to them. Please tell that to your mother as well. My God, you are all poets now, huh? Since when? <laughs> you inspire us, Master. Wow, you are beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, the group that stays here, uh, you are special. You're very special. Thank you so much for loving me and trusting me. Really, I'm very honored and touched. May God always shower a blessing on you and keep you vigilant on your path and keep your faith always whole and pure forever. Thank you, Master. Master, you are so gracious and kind. We are actually just lucky to have your love, your love and trust. For us, Master, you are our father, our mother, and our most beloved and treasured companion in the whole world. So we really like to wish you, Master, and all the fathers in the world, happy Father's Day. Thank you, Master. Master, thank you for this precious time spent together today. We are sure your word will benefit the whole universe and help bring world vegan world peace even sooner to our world. 
and we will continue working and praying with you for this as well. We love you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you. God protects you. I'll see you next time. Hope to talk to you soon. I hope to talk to you soon. I Meanwhile, God bless and be happy. Love you. Love you, Master. Love you so much. If I have a stable place somewhere, maybe I invite you, this group, to come see me. All right? If, <laughs> if uh, the world is better, and then we come together. Celebrate, okay? Love you. Love you so much. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Love, 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 love forever. We love you, Master. Master.